Welcome. Uh, this, uh, this question says, in Fizzo's experiment, the distance from a toothed wheel to the mirror is one kilometer. The wheel has 100 teeth. The wheel is spun at 400 revolutions per second. What is the speed of light? So we've got to check and see what this experiment says. And what we had was we had a wheel. And that wheel had a whole bunch of teeth that let light through and well gaps that let light through let light through and teeth that that stop light from coming through. And then we had a lamp here, and the light would go out through one gap and it would hit a mirror and then return. But in the time that the light took to return, the wheel had spun. So effectively, when we could see the light returning, it had gone to the mirror through one tooth and come back through the next tooth. And so from that uh, uh, angular motion, from that circular motion, we can figure out the time uh, interval for the light to go to the mirror and back again. So basic principle is that the speed of light will equal, well, the distance traveled, which is to the mirror and back, which is two times d over the time taken. And so we'll have two times one kilometer. One kilometer is a thousand meters. Let's work in SI units. And now we have the time taken. And we've got to do a little bit of just, just stepping through things here. Um, okay. 400 revolutions per minute means it does one revolution in one per second means it does one revolution in one four hundredth of a second. So if it had one gap, the time would be one four hundredth of a second because it takes it has 400 revolutions per second. And if there were two gaps, then it would be half that time. If there were five gaps, there would be a fifth of that time. There's a hundred gaps. hundred teeth means a hundred gaps. So it would be one hundredth of that time. So we can have that divided by one hundred. So therefore C is equal to two times the distance, which is a thousand over, well, one over four times ten to the Four. Yeah, dividing by 100 means it's smaller, so it's 1 over 4 times 10 to the 4, which equals 2 times 1,000 times 4 times 10 to the 4. So speed, according to this experiment, would be 8 times 10 to the 3 and 10 to the 4 makes 10 to the 7 meters per second. Not right, but there again, if I give you the numbers to get the right answer, you'd know the answer was 3 times 10 to the 8. So this is not such a good experiment, but it's good for a, a, a question or a problem. So the basic principle is very simple. It's just the speed is equal to the distance traveled over the time taken. And the distance traveled is to the mirror and back again, so it's two times the, the, the mirror uh, wheel distance, which in this case was was one kilometer, which is a thousand meters. The time's a bit more interesting, and I find the easiest way is just to work through it and say, okay, if I spin at one turn a second with one gap, that would be one second. And if I did two turns a second, then it would be one over two seconds. If I did four turns, a second that would be one over four seconds. And if it was ten turns a second, it's one over ten seconds. And if it's uh, uh, four hundred turns a second, it's one over four hundred. So that's where that one over four hundred comes from. And then clearly, if I have more gaps because I have more teeth, then I have shorter time intervals. If I had two gaps rather than one, it would be half the time. If I had four gaps rather than one, it would be a quarter of the time. I have a hundred gaps, so that's one hundredth of the time. It's easy to get these numbers up here. It's easy to get those guys backwards and mixed up and everything. So you've got to step through it logically. 
and 1 over 400 divided by 100 is 1 over 400 times 100 which is 4 times 10 to the 4 so we have 1 over 4 times 10 to the 4 and then we just the rest is math in some problems they make it a bit more interesting because they give you like a duty cycle where they tell you oh look you know it's not just a uh, a minuscule gap and then a tooth and a minuscule gap and a tooth but it's a certain if you like duty cycle between these and then you got to modify your answer based on that but I think this is enough for us um, to figure out what's going on so there we have it